Wow, I'm so excited to share it with you all this video. Welcome to our episode 3, of course, and welcome to Veda Vlog. Once again, my name is Venus. Thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, for this episode, I'm so excited to share it with you all. Okay, this video po, para po sa lahat ng mga nawalan, ng mga minamahal sa buhay. And uh, I hope somehow that this video will gonna help you out or inspire you to enjoy your celebration even without them. I know that you might feel guilty somehow kasi bakit deserve ko bang maging masaya yung Christmas? Paano ko ba celebrate yung Christmas? Wala na yung mom ko, wala na yung dad ko, wala yung kapatid ko, wala na yung anak ko, wala na yung asawa ko. Perhaps it's so hard for you guys to celebrate it. But here I am, I'm so excited to share it with you all some advices how you can actually enjoy your Christmas without feeling guilty because you still deserve to be happy. This Christmas, I just want you to feel love and happiness and peace. Na sana po, somehow this video will gonna help you out to ease your burden. And at the same time, papagaan ko man lang po yung kalooban ninyo. Alright, so are you guys ready? Okay, first and foremost, I think it's so important for you guys to talk with your family or your friends exactly how you're feeling. Let it out! Masakit yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. It's okay. Gusto mong umiyak, iiyak mo lahat ng yan. Why? Because that's love. Nasasaktan ka ngayon kasi minamahal mo ng sobra yung taong nawala sa'yo. And it's Christmas. Do you deserve to be happy? Yes. Because I'm pretty sure if they're watching you right now, ayaw nilang umiiyak ka sa araw ng Pasko. But if you feel like crying it out and gusto mong mag-emo, go ahead. Go with someone that you trust or go with someone that you clo are close to with. Sino makakaintindi sa'yo? Kahit gano'n ka pa umiyak dyan, mag-inarte, mag-emo, mag-hugot, ng kung ano-ano man, they will be there to understand you and to give you at least an advice how to handle things para mapagaan man lang yung kalooban mo. I'm pretty sure hindi siya ganun kadali because I've been there. I've lost my dad five years ago and just this year I've lost my mom too. And I asked God why? Why? Okay, sabi ko, just five years ago namatay si daddy and then ngayon si mama naman. Ang hirap. <laughs> And sakit actually, si daddy nga matay siya, December 24, exactly mati Christmas. And I wasn't there in Philippines, na, nasa ibang bansa ako. So you know how it feels like I didn't really see him exactly that. Yung yung last day niya, wala ako dun. Do I have regrets? Well, I do have regrets, but it doesn't mean na paparusahan mo yung sarili mo because you don't deserve it. You deserve that pain. Sobrang sakit niya. Yes, i-feel mo siya. But let it go. Let it out, guys. So, iyak ko, iyak ka. Dumating ako sa point, sinabi ko din, Tama na, Lord. Kotang-kota na ako sa sakit. Five years ago, nawala si daddy. Ngayon, kinuha mo pati mama ko. Grabe ka. But guys, who am I to question God? You just really have to hold on with your faith. And always hope for the best life kasi buhay ka pa eh. You know? God has a purpose for you. Bakit nandiyan ka pa? Make the most out of it and make your mom proud or these people who, 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 whom you've lost. Make them proud because I'm pretty sure they're watching you right now. Okay? So first, talk with your family and with your friends. Kung sino yung close mo, go ahead with your pastors and I'm pretty sure they'll be very, very happy to help you out and to listen with you. Okay? Be with them this uh, holiday and they'll be very happy to spend it with you guys and they'll be very happy to be there for you. Alright? Number two, all right, make a video. Ano yung video na yun? Compilation of your good memories with them happy or sad it's okay and then during christmas or uh, the christmas day itself it present mo siya alam mo yun you can just play it on the television or on the computer kahit na anong gusto mong gawin as long as naririnig mo yung voice nila or yung yung mukha nila nandun 
while while you guys are celebrating, kumakain kayo, I mean, nagpa-party kayo. So you'd feel like they're just out there. Nandiyan lang sila. It doesn't mean that you cannot move on, no. It's just that you want them to be a part of your holiday and that what makes you happy, go ahead. Diba? So all of you, kasama yung mga relatives mo siguro, you guys are enjoying watching these videos, yung mga magagandang memories niyo. That's okay. Because I believe that their spirit is just out there. Perhaps nandiyan nga siya, nakikinig lang din. Pinapanood kayo na nag enjoy ng Christmas, di ba? And I'm sure na pagka sobrang sakit na sakit ka na, I mean, sobrang sakit na siya, kasi nga namimiss mo na sila, andun sila, niyayakap ka. So guys, this video will always be with you. Keep it. And of course, don't forget to make new good memories. Wala na sila, yes. Masakit, mahirap, yes, that's okay, but you know that's life, diba? So I hope that this Christmas, you're gonna make new, good and happy memories. Yun sa mga pamilya mo pa na nandiyan at natitira. Madami ka pang friends na makikilala pag nawalan, nawalan yung pinaka-bestan mo sa lahat. I'm sure God will gonna give you someone new in your life na talagang deserving din na kahit paano, hindi man niya mare-replace yung taong nawala sa'yo but I hope um, kahit pa paano, mapapagaan man lang yung loob mo. Just knowing that someone is out there for you who's listening to you and helping you out to go through with this, um, with this grief. I hope guys na maging okay ka din. In the long run, you'll be fine. Trust me and that, you'll be okay. Alright? So, number three, make a journal. I mean, journal na yun? Diary. Uh, maybe it sounds corny, kasi nga, this time, whatever you feel like posting on the social media, like you know, on, on your Facebook account, Instagram, Twitter, lahat ng emo nyo, mga hugots nyo, nilalagay nyo na dun sa status nyo, right? But I think, somehow, through writing, nakakatulong din siya na pagaanin yung loob mo. It, it feels like you're just talking to your parents or to your brother, to your sister, or sa anak mo na nawala sa'yo. I'm saying this because hindi na kasi daw siya uso yung magsulat. But the good thing about it is that nandun lang siya. If you feel like you want to go back and you just want to read it, alam mo yun yung parang nasisig mo din lahat ng mga memories mo with them or anything that you feel like writing it down, parang mo siyang kinakausap. Dear Mama, um, you know what? I miss you so much today and I still remember just how much you love Christmas. Ikaw yung tao na nag-play-play pa lang talaga ng music during September pa lang. How I miss you so! Alam mo yun? So ngayon, kung nagkaroon ka ng anak and going back sa mga 10 years from now, pwede mong ipasa yun sa anak mo. Hindi man nila nakilala yung, yung, yung apo nila. So, through this journal, kahit pa paano kapag binabasa nila yun, Parang kilalang kilalang nila na din yung taong yun na kinakausap mo. So, you may have lost them physically, but they will always stay in your heart no matter what. And with all of this um, compilations of videos or sa mga journals na to, somehow, yung essence ng, ng yung, yung bond ninyo, nandun pa rin, kahit wala na sila. So I think that's the foremost reason why I wanted so much to share it with you all, lalo na siguro sa mga estudyante dyan na hindi nyo alam kung paano mag-open up, hindi nyo alam kung paano ilabas yung mga nasa loobin nyo. So go ahead, kung ayaw nyo magsabi sa ibang tao because you feel like you're strong enough, but I'm sure that you guys have your own witnesses too. Parang bigla na lang na out of the blue, mapipil mo na lang, andun na naman yung sakit. Nangis mo na naman yung taong yun. So, what can you actually do? Kung ayaw mong i-open up sa iba, go ahead, write it down, guys. Somehow, it, you'll feel better. Trust me on that. You'll feel better. Okay? Next, do charity. Yung mga damit o kaya yung mga bagay na iniwan sa inyo ng mga minamahal mo, donate it. Why? You'd feel better pagka nakita mo na ginagamit na siya ng ibang tao. Nakatulong ka na. Um, alam mo yun, na-preserve mo pa yung damit na yun at saka napakinabangan pa siya ng ibang tao. I think that's the essence of Christmas. Just by giving it, just by giving anything, kahit ano man yun, gano man siya kamura or kahit, siguro sabihin mo, pamit naman ng damit na yun, i-appreciate mo kasi 
Nung bagay na yun, napaka-importante sa'yo eh. ba? Diba? Pero kung binigay mo yon sa ibang tao na nangangailangan, magkakaroon siya ng purpose. Sarap ng feeling nun. And I'm sure na matutuwa din naman din yung mga mahal niyo sa buhay pag pinapanood na kayo this time around. Right? Okay, or maybe pwede niyo din, ano, like, mahilig mag-drawing yung tao yon. Pwede niyo i-preserve ngayon yung drawing na yun. Pwede niyo siyang i-frame, ilagay niyo siya sa bahay. Parang nandun lang siya. ba diba? Ang ganda. Or, yung damit. May ganit yung mom ko na sobrang gustong gusto ko. Ginamit niya ata yung last Christmas niya sa Pilipinas. And I would really love to recycle that. Gagamitin ko siya also one day. Kaya I'm so excited. Pag-uwi ko talagang gagawin ko yun. <laughs> gusto ko siyang gamitin. Um, it's not because nahihirapan kang mag-move on. Kaya ginagawa mo yun. No, it's not eh. I think it's just about... You just want to have a remembrance from them. Yun yun. So, kahit gano'n ka-i-down ng ibang tao, sasabihin, uy, huwag ganun, kasi parang hindi mo nilalat go yung taong yun. No, just support them, guys. Kasi at this time, wala na silang ibang mapagkukuhanan ng lakas ng loob. Dun na lang. Alam mo yun, kahit bagay man lang yun, somehow, it makes them feel better. So, that's okay. Go ahead. You can do whatever you want. Okay? And one thing more, guys, kung tatanin niyo ko ngayon, where am I getting all these strengths? If you feel like I'm not crying at all with this video, parang okay lang ako kasi wala na yung mga magulang ko. No, it's not. It's actually so hard on our side, sa family ko, mga kapatid ko, especially. Kasi nga, wala ka niya nanit sa katatay. Hindi ko in-expect na mangyayari siya at a very young age. I feel like bata pa kami. <laughs> okay. And ang hirap-hirap niyang yung yung pagsisink in ba niya, wala ka lang nanay, wala ka lang tatay, wala ka lang tatawagan, nagigigrit man lang na Merry Christmas, wala nang nagtatanong kung nasan ka na, anak, kung sa Christmas mo, wala. That's how hard it is. So, ano yung pwede mong gawin? Saan mo kukunin ngayon yung signs mo para maging okay ka this Christmas? Look up. There's one great big guy out there who's listening to you and who's watching you. And all of your angels out there, yung mga nawala man sa'yo sa buhay mo, nandiyan lang sila. Okay? So, be strong. Be strong. Okay? They want you to be happy and you deserve to be happy. So, be happy this Christmas. Last but not the least, guys, go to the cemetery this Christmas Day. Visit them and celebrate it with them. Sing Christmas songs with them. And I'm sure magiging memorable din po yung Christmas niyo. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Gano man siya kasakit, guys. Um, just pray. Please, pray. Make a simple prayer for your loved ones. And uh, at the same time, I'm hoping and praying na sana magiging mas okay kayo in these coming years. <laughs> Siguro this Christmas, kung ngayon siya nawala, this year, yung minamahal niya sa buhay, Mahirap pa siya, mahirap mag-adjust, mahirap mag-celebrate. That's okay, but do your best na maging masaya at saka memorable din yung Christmas mo ngayon kahit wala na sila. Okay? Please guys, let go and let God. Thank you so much for watching our video right now. And wow, this video is so close to my heart. Because like I've said, I've been there. I've lost someone so special in my life and sana somehow I've inspired you and motivated you na maging strong kahit pa paano that you can actually find the magic of Christmas despite your grievings and your loss so guys it's okay it's okay to be happy so please be happy this Christmas okay and uh, this life it's the best gift that you could ever have so find your purpose in life you'll never know when will gonna be your last day in this world so sana lahat po nang gagawin niyo sa buhay niyo make it sure na nagiging blessings kayo sa ibang tao and one day alam mo yun you'll go back with all this beautiful things that you've done to someone else mawala ka man sa mundong ito but one thing's for sure iisipin nila lahat ng mga mabubuti at magagandang bagay na ginawa ninyo sa kanila. Not those material things that you've given to them, but kung ano po yung mga nab nabigay nyo sa kanila, like 
na itulong nyo talaga as a person. And last but not the least, Merry Merry Christmas once again and thank you so much for subscribing our channel once again and sign up po and inspire po kayo at madami pa po ako mga inspirational videos na gagawin para po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much guys and Merry Merry Christmas. This is the best gift that I could actually give you and my parents is they are the one who actually motivated me to be a vlogger kasi gusto ko na maging resourceful naman ako at saka magawa ko din po yung purpose ko in my own way, kahit sa kunting bagay man lang, makakatulong po ako sa inyo. Merry Christmas guys and Happy New Year! Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart